The door to the dojo is always open. Hello everyone, I'm Tim. So with the 11th precept, Funakoshi gets more symbolic. Karate is like boiling water. Without heat, it returns to its tepid state. The way to interpret this is that we have to constantly nurture our skills in it, no matter how motivated we are. If we start with excuses, this creates a mindset of laziness. We start to think it's okay not to train, like just missing that one training is okay, because pretty soon missing that second one is okay, then missing a month of training is okay, and so on. Even in training, we explain away the reasons why we don't do our best. I'm tired, had a hard day at work, my girlfriend broke up with me, my dog died. All excuses, but also all reasons to train extra hard. With anything we want to learn and get good at, practice makes perfect. If we allow ourselves to find excuses not to train, or not to train hard enough, we turn our karate into a ghost of what it could be. And this often leads to an early exit as it teaches you to justify not giving it your all. We already talked about the infinite source of lessons to learn in karate, but this is only possible if you are committed to learn them. Don't forget there is a reason black belt does not start with 10, but with one. Shodan literally means first level, implying the possibility for continuous self-improvement. You might have taken a while to get to this first level, but you are also actually only just beginning. By the way, this might be unrelated, but something remarkable about karate that I have noticed over the years is no matter how long you have quit karate, you can always return to it. Karate has the quality of becoming a part of you, whether you want it or not. The door to the dojo is always open. The metaphorical door, otherwise you let the heat out and electricity and gas are expensive. <laughs> anyway. Although coming back to karate is possible, the effort to do so is at least as great as it was to begin in the first place. You see, boiling water requires a lot of energy. I mean, there is a reason why the unit of energy, the calorie, is based on the energy needed to heat up one liter of water by one degree. However, it takes considerably less energy to keep water boiling. Once you're on fire, all it takes to keep your momentum is just keep going. A body in motion wants to stay in motion. Similarly, a body in rest wants to stay in rest. This is basic physics, not just a great motivational poster. Learning through practice is like pushing a cart up a hill. If you slack off, it will slip backwards. In all our studies, continuous concentration and diligence are the hallmark of success. It is meaningless to begin the study of karate do as if you were stopping by a roadside for a refreshment on your way home. A random sampling of karate or random practice will not suffice. Only through continual training will you be able to obtain, in mind and body, the fruits of the way. I mean, it's obvious, right? You want to continue improving your karate, you need to practice it regularly. There's no other way around it. Both physical and mental fitness can't be stored. To retain it, you need to continually work on it and challenge yourself. Karate is like boiling water. Without heat, it returns to its tepid state. If you like what you see here and you want to see more, click right here to see more. For now, let me wish you a wonderful day and as always, thanks for watching. Chuck Norris can make a fire by rubbing two ice cubes.